Hello friends of Leachdale. The Lord is with you. Hey, a lot of things have changed, haven't they? I'm, I'm out here talking in a field. I can't seem to figure out how to get my hair cut. There's got to be some kind of business hazmat haircutting that's going to kick in the gear. Lots of things have changed. I was talking with Colleen. She was at Zare's a couple of days ago and she's saying that place is completely different, right? Like people, you have to walk where the arrows point to. Everyone's got to stay two meters apart. People got masks on. They're not sure which way to go. They can't talk to each other. It just it doesn't feel right. So much has changed. What we do and how we do it has changed. So what hasn't changed? Well, I know it sounds a little canned, but Jesus Christ hasn't changed. It wasn't all that long ago that we were together in church on a Sunday morning or preaching from the book of Hebrews that said, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has not changed. He is not surprised by what we're going through. He continues to love you. What else hasn't changed? Well, hear this. You haven't changed. You, you haven't changed who you are at a core level. You say, no, no, I've changed. A lot of things have changed. There's something welling up inside of me. I'm more edgy. I'm, I'm more sad. I'm, I'm more mad. I, yeah, Andrew, actually, I have changed. Well, that's actually your soul catching up with a great deal of loss and grief. So fair enough. Things have shifted, but who you are, in particular, Jesus Christ, who is in you, has not changed. The fact that the Holy Spirit fills every Christian, that, that has not changed. The fact that Jesus is growing within you these fruit, love and joy and peace and patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, uh, gentleness, self-control, all of these things, this is still ongoing. This, this has not changed. So I was thinking about that this week and thinking about some of the people around here and the ways that the Holy Spirit continues to keep them alive, though albeit different ways, right? Our Julia Bendel, who's our church custodian, mild-mannered custodian, found out that the community needed masks. And they're really specific and they're really super cool. They're, they're washable, they're reusable, but masks that needed to go into people who were particularly vulnerable. And so she, she headed up a team. She got the, the, the specifics about how to do these masks and they went to town. She was telling me the other day, 900 masks and to go around, deliver them to, to at-risk seniors, to people who stuck in their homes, people have to go out for shopping. It's, it's spectacular. I think about another woman, her name's uh, Jen. Uh, she's one of the local doctors and together with another doctor here in town and some local folks, she's watching television. She's watching what's going on in Italy. She's watching what's going on in New York City. She's like, not in my town. And so she, she got on the blower and she went to thinking, and how can we be ready? How can we be ready for whatever comes our way? And so she just made it happen. It's just this cool thing. And I think I'm, I'm taking credit for the Holy Spirit doing this inside of here. A doctor who wants, has always wanted to protect community who, who sort of lives it out here in our day, right in this particular moment. Um, one, one other shout out, I'm gonna say Jacqueline Smith. Jacqueline Smith's a university student. You know, what is a university student? She says, hey, we're, we're missing each other. We need to get together. So she sets up these Zoom meetings where university students get together and talk. And one night they're doing a Bible study. Another time they're just cracking jokes and getting along with each other. Here's the point for today. How is it that God is opening doors for you? How is it that God in the midst of growing his fruit in your life is asking you to step out? Because we know this, right? Jesus hasn't changed and neither has the calling on your life and neither has the power inside of you. So grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you this Friday and forever. Amen.